It seems clear. Seems clear. <laughs> America's like walking in line. You guys, have, you guys report your success to everyone else. Seems clear. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna come upstairs now and have we look through. Yeah, Samuel should come up and look at these items. Mm. Can I come up and see if I know what any of them do? Um, at initial glance, here, I'll tell you what they look like. Um, because I don't think you guys are able to figure out necessarily what they do at initial glance. So, one of the items is a skull. Mm -hmm. uh, some sort of uh, equine animal skull. Or something that's similar. So something, I guess, like a buck is probably a bit closer to it. A buck. Oh horse. boy, I wonder what it does. <laughs> More bang for your buck. Shut up. <laughs> Varric checks how many rounds he has in his rifle. Always save one for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, next to that is a, a sort of a sphere, sort of a gem. But it's a, it's I guess more like a marble, like a giant marble, like you know, like a one you would point out. Um, it's relatively transparent, and inside it is, it's sort of like a, a kinetic planet model. Here, I got a picture for you. I got a pic. I got a planetarium. Sort of. Yeah. So something that looks like. Oh, that. okay. Okay. And if you want a bit more of a combined image, something like that, except, yeah. And inside it is just swirling, just little wisps, just little... Along this orbit inside of it, just little... Mm -hmm. Just constant okay. orbit. And then, in the third exhibit case, there is a, uh... Armband. Not like uh, a lower armband, I suppose. Uh, a bracelet, bracelet, that's weird. A wide bracelet, this bandlet, ba banglet, banglet. Hmm. I can, I can English, I swear. And next to the banglet, or un under the banglet, sits more tarot cards. The remaining major arcana tarot cards, just stretched out, like as if like someone was casting a fan of cards with them. All right. If you wish to take a, a while to sort these things through, I will keep guard. Hearing you confirm that there are no chaps, Varric just smashes the glass on the exhibit cases <laughs> with the blood of his rifle. Just... Subtle. Very subtle. <laughs> Shrugs. I'll go to first, back to first the loft wave, and... First wave subtlety. That's it. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go back to the loft with my bow, arrow knocked, and just keep a lookout toward the entrance. Alright. All right. Uh, roll me your perception. Uh, Varric applies similar, uh, respect and courtesy and subtlety to the other two glass cases. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Steam score. Dano. And... Strong man boy getting the glass. I'm gonna cut you with this glass, I swear to the gods. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. You love me. <laughs> he could grab a fistful of glass. That's not sanitary. Do you want my He's advice, Samuel? Do not flirt with a person who is already in a relationship. Oh, but it's funny! Come on! You guys are terrible. <laughs> Figure out what the hell these things are. Okay. Um... Yeah. Wait, Tanum! Tanum! What is it? Did you check the chest? No. You want to see to take a step back away from the chest? All right, who here is sneakily right, I inclined? I have lock picks, and I can try and get it open if it's locked. He just to it. Be my guest. All right. I Be sure it is not trapped. I did not check for traps on the chest. Off you go. Off you go. <laughs> uh, Romeo, these tools. These tools. How do I do that? Uh, it should be on the bottom left under passive wisdom perception. Uh, and the, proficiencies. Oh, okay. I don't have that in my, oh, I've not put that in my bloody proficiencies. Um, <laughs> shit. 
I've only got daggers and background information. Then I suppose yeah. we'll have to add it then. Wait, do you just own these tools, but you're not proficient with them? Cause... No, I'm pretty sure I'm... Am I? I don't know. Actually, shit, that's a good I am, point. if that's needed. Okay, so let's oh, have okay. Slider do it instead. <laughs> He's simpler that way. Mm. I don't remember what you're... Oh, well, I'm high. guessing I would use Dexterity, right? Yeah. Mm. Boop up. Barrack checks for traps. Square. <laughs> Luckily for you, it's not even locked, so... Oh. <laughs> you guys went through, like, two different puzzles to get here. It'd be, it'd be a, a, a third redundant layer of, of Can you security. Still break the pick. Mm. It, well, it, it's not redundant if it gets stolen. <laughs> yeah, but you're this at this point. It's like a yeah. So is there a way to identify these so, items? Oh shit! Do you guys have an identified spell? What have you done? Think? So what was it? Is banglet? Yeah. Uh, banglet. Cool bang, cool was marble, a banglet with the uh, banglet with the additional major arcana cards, which I assume you collect the three that you used to unlock the door. The Equine skull, and then that unknown marble orbit uh, gem. The crystal ball. Mm. Yeah, it's not a full crystal ball for like fortune tides. It's probably the size of like a baseball. It's like an orrery. It's this fucking marble thing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fair. I'm happy that one, for it. That one got you. <laughs> I'm happy you call it that. I'm, I'm, thanks. Let's, let's all get high and stare at the marble. Forget it. <laughs> Whoa, do I see myself on one of the planets? There's not actually planets in there, it's just the uh, raw it. magical you energy. Uh, Can you? Okay, so apparently I am actually proficient in two of these tools. So I, I just added it there. I just oh, added you. it there, so. I don't know if it's actually true or not, but at this point I sort of don't mind, so. <laughs> Am I the only yeah, one no, that can identify? Think so. I think so. I'm, I'm not smart, Samuel. Kit. It's a spell, is the thing, so you guys can steal it from him. <laughs> oh, is it, are we doing detect magic? No, identify. Identify? Oh, okay, no, I don't have that. Um... Give me 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we can chill, it's fine. Somebody talk to Spock yeah. about. I will. S it, it, well, if, it's, if we're doing that, I'll send Yuila uh, down the. Uh... Uh, to the fork in the road and have her stealthily uh, explore the path and see where it leads. So I'm gonna see if I can peek through her eyes. Okay, roll stealth for her. Okay, where's my owl? Dude, where is my owl? The new hit is <laughs> <to> come coming <laughs> next summer. I was going to clean my room, and then I got high. <laughs> <laughs> Crash, what's the attribute for disguise kits? Uh, probably dexterity. dexterity okay, so okay. that's a loud yeah. owl. Yeah. Oh, it makes uh, the so... d20 red. That's cool. Yeah, so, uh, no, the, the color chain, the color of the, tw uh, the, the dice and background actually corresponds to your color on the bottom. <gasps> so, so like if I did a one d twenty right now, it'd be like this like bluish shade behind it. Yo, nat twenty. <laughs> oh. You didn't see her right now. I just dabbed. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yours is green and stuff. It'll actually change in accordance to uh, what color you are. Oh. Man. I didn't notice that until it took me like two years with this, and then I finally noticed. And I was like, yeah, I, yeah, same, dude. It's what? Like two and a half years. Orange, yeah. So I just like, now notice that. It's so it's really yeah so like your like your pink on the bottom so your dice are have a pink background yeah it's really it's really yeah. subtle. Oh shit! Yeah right. Yeah. Super subtle. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty cool. Cool. That's like a subtle detail some dev put in. It's like they'll enjoy this when they find out that they'll, they'll put a small smile on their face, and it did. Good job, roll twenty dev. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So about you either though. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, roll perception for Yuila as well. Perception. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't even know. I have advantage on hearing and sight, and she has dark vision. 
Yeah, so just roll it with advantage then. So, uh, 20 total. 20. Uh, she was down the fork in the road, down the other way. Uh, she's met with a dead end, like a legit dead end. There's no magic shit to it. Like, you are looking for shivers and stuff. Like, that's it. Like, there's literally just nothing there. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Uh, have As she back. flies back, however, she gets grabbed. Oh. The Can shadow, I, uh... the darkness of the wall literally rips off of it and then <laughs> smothers her. Can I teleport her in and out? Uh, you... I She's think you need familiar. to. I think there's a difference between them dying and then you bringing them back versus teleporting them. Let me see. Uh, like, I, can I, do I notice the thing grabbing her? Can I? Do I have time to react? To how, that much, how much HP does an owl have? Uh, an owl has one d four minus one. Roll and has zero health. <laughs> Minimum of one, it says. I think. I. Roll me, roll me your dexterity. Let's see how fast you are. My own dex, I guess, yeah? Your own dex. It's, it's your instinct and, and speed that has got to save. Or, dis, or yeah, dismiss okay. or then uh, die. Flat, f my flat dex. Okay. A yeah. check, yeah. Yeah, dex check. Now I will contest roll with this. Okay. Luckily for you, it, it has no dex. Okay, so you went out. So as it's, as you is about to fully get smothered and crushed... You teleport back to you. Yo, Garth, what the fuck, dude? I do not mean to alarm anyone, but do you remember the fork in the road? Yeah. Yes. It leads to a dead end, and I think there is a creature hiding in the shadows. It tried to snatch Yuila. Hmm. Can we maybe avoid the big creature? It is possible. Um, I mean, it hasn't come after us yet, right? No, yeah. but it is something I mean... to be mindful of as we make our way out. Okay. Well, we'll just sneak by the fork in the road then. Easy. Cool. So, to um, our identifying wizard, uh, I'm going to bring you to the Hush Hush chat. <laughs> I love it. And, uh, and tell you uh, what the items you have. Okay. Alright, let me bring you up. Now I actually have a map of this whole layout. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah true enough. Yeah, if you do, I don't. No, I drew one. Oh, you drew one? Oh, okay. Now I just have to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck what? Too scary. Right, right, sorry. <laughs> My bad. I know I'm a scary person, but I didn't mean, I don't mean to use it purposefully. Oh, God, I was in the Only zone. naturally right. when I'm at work. To intimidate customers. Of course, yeah. I mean, where else are you going to use it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So, uh, yeah. Items have been identified. And you guys are free to depart. If you so wish. And it's up to Samuel if he, I was telling you guys. The silence is telling in and out of itself. Yeah, that's kinda Can I collect the tarot cards at least and add them to my collection? Mm. Sure. Okay, so I'll do that. Alright, I'm gonna go over to Samuel and be like, is it a good idea is it a good idea to take these or should we leave them? We can take them, they're not evil or cursed or anything. Oh, you can't okay. stop me from scooping them up. Magpie yeah. mode. Yeah. I am shoving them all in my bag. <sighs> Although, if somebody else wants to take Pretty the fuckers. skull... Yeah. <laughs> if somebody else wants to take the skull, by all means, please. I'll give you, like, a brief rundown. So, uh, skull, uh, sums a horse. You ride the horse for 90 feet or so. Um... Helps you get more, you know, more distance. Uh, the pretty little, <laughs> the sick as fuck marble thing, dude. <laughs> uh, Yo, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's called an enhancement gem. Um, we can. Oh, that's called steroids. <laughs> Do you use gems in your bloodstream? I was just making a joke. <laughs> Be medically <laughs> correct. <laughs> uh, we can use this to uh, upgrade weapons or magic items or something. I can't, but if we get Did you say magical it, weapon? I hold out my sword. Oh, yeah. As I was saying, I can't do it because I might break it. So this should wait until we get back to town and someone who actually knows how to do this can attach it. Um... And then this uh, pocket ace. Um, this is what has to do with the cards. Um, I'm sure if you sit down and really concentrate on it, you'll be able to use the cards in conjunction with this. What the cards might do, I don't know. Um, but if we're going to use them, this is what we need to have to be able to use them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. Cool. So, yeah. So, you guys got some sick loot. Mm. So, I mean, do you want to take the bracelet for now? Or? Yeah, I suppose so. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else wants to grab the other stuff, or will I just shove it in my bag and we'll... we'll the sick as fuck gem, I would not <laughs> say no to. Uh, <laughs> you guys know we gotta report this stuff back, right? Well, I mean, we don't have to. We can just tell them we didn't find anything, right? I'm not reporting the cards. Yeah. I'm reporting the cards. I'm reporting oh, the cards. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Don't be a... They're probably gonna let us keep it anyways, like that's the usual standard protocol. But the thing is, when people hide stuff, they get concerned. Because guess who else hides stuff? Traders. I know. Alright, 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 okay, whatever. Um Okay, fine. And I guess that means I'm stuck with the skull. I mean, I'll take it. Any of us can take it, it's just a skull. Yeah. Magic skull. <laughs> whatever. Magic okay. horse skull. Magic horse mm, skull. Magical. What did you say it does again? It like gives you extra speed or something? It's like, uh, it, it, you get a, you know how you always wanted that pony when you were younger? Um, no, yeah. not at all. <laughs> Don't lie to me. So now we get a but super ghost. It, it lets you ride a horse for a little bit, um, gives you more distance. Ah, uh, okay. It will also trample whoever's in front of you. Oh, actually, okay. 
That sounds quite cool. Okay, hold on. You're a wizard. I don't think you should be going. You should trample your way to the front. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. Who wants it? Who wants it? As I say, as I slip it in my bag. <laughs> no, no. Roll his eyes. <laughs> Hang on to it if you need a way out, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. No, no. If anybody else needs it more than I do. Um, we can decide this. Later. If we get to keep it. If you want to have more time to think. Right. Yeah, let's just get out of here first. We spend okay. like he checks his watch. A couple hours out here now. By the way, are we okay. just gonna leave the containers over there? Or are we just gonna? I mean, you are they still open? Fair, fair they... point. I go down with the crowbar and yeah. start cracking them open. The things inside. You find equally <laughs> disgusting skeletons. Are they definitely dead? They're definitely dead. Yeah. <laughs> 150% okay. dead. Okay, <laughs> Unless okay. a necromancer comes in here, but I think at that point... Right. He, that necromancer should also be dead. <laughs> huh. Alright, cool. I don't trust anything here. No. Did I get a roughly correct sketch there, Crash? Um, the fork in the road is more like a Y, but other than that, yes. Nice. Tannum will be providing this map to the, to the, attaching it to the report. Yeah, Once he's right. in a place where he can actually draw it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's still in oh. uh, in a hole on the beach. I'm just, just. Uh, cl I'm just clearing clearing the board. No, no. Go on the board. Give me it again. So you guys exit. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Someone loading the nerf gun. No, he's no, playing with the fake the... gun. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I, it's either this or there. it's either this or the tarot cards, and uh, I'm have mm -hmm. I already just I've used them too much. They got a bed. So yeah, uh, you you guys begin departing. I'm gonna sneak um, by the by the big monster. Yes. Uh, other than that one stretch, I think I can expedite it. But first, roll me your guys' stealth. Need to reload my roll twenty. Being buggy. Oh, come on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In in interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Aminia's whip on that one is still better than. Yeah. And it's <laughs> a crit. Okay, what about the, let's see, we got the 12, a 5. Alright, alright, we're looking good so far. I like it, I like I it. Uh, uh, actually, Varric has to run to the edge. Someone needs to roll for uh, Rainies as well. I will roll for Rainies, yeah. don't worry. Uh, normal. Actually, no, disadvantage as well. Mm -hmm. It can't be that bad. Yeah, even a disadvantage, the one heavy armor. Okay, let me just uh, comp up the uh, average here. If the digital calculator opens, there it is. So we got, let's see, we got a 12 plus a 17 plus a 5 plus a 6 plus a. I had a 56. Mine. Hmm. Minus a 56 plus a 5 plus a 6. Uh, plus a 7. Okay, 5, 6, 7. I like that. I dig it. Plus 18, plus 16. Divide that by 13. 7. Oh, 7? Mm -hmm. I thought it was 8. 7. One, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Why'd you roll like two di three different stealths? Because one of them is rainy. One of them is rainy, so the, the first two are Varric with disadvantage. Oh, you just didn't roll this disadvantage group. Okay. Okie dokie. Because I sort of forgot, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, 12. Let me check the stats of the creature. Check the stats of the creature. Let's see, uh, Neo G, I don't know how to pronounce that. Neo Philid, no, that's a CR 13 creature, maybe someday. Uh, Orc, no, not Orc. Slithering Tracker, uh, so that's the name of my, um, never mind, we'll talk about that band. <laughs> that's a Perception 11, so you guys actually managed to sneak by. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That's really low. Actually, no, yeah, it makes sense. 
So you guys sneak by, going through the crack, initial crack that you guys had to uh, blow your way and chisel your way through, by the unknown wall peeling creature, past the bolus platform. Uh, what, what, was, what was it? Push a point twap? Yeah, that one. <laughs> can I the attempt to, point. when everyone is across? Can I attempt to yank the ropes free? Uh. After everyone's cross, I can say you loosened what the one end, like just enough. So, but uh, roll me your, roll me either your athletics or your sleight of hand. It's either you figured out how exactly how much to pull out the pitten for it to be an easy pull, or you just just pull it out with raw strength, one or the other. Uh, I'll I'll turn to Rainis and say, do you mind helping me with this rope? Bless. <laughs> she got the bless for you guys, anyways. So add a d4. Add a d4. Uh, I do it with Ten. advantage. Because she's helping you when you get across. Do it again. Do the athletic throw again. And we'll keep the two. So 13. 13. That's good. The DC was 12. Which is a high. But you still went under it. So. <laughs> oh, wow. she, the pin gets dragged along through the pressure plates. But it's not heavy enough to trigger it. So you guys get back to the water. Did I get both ropes? You got both ropes. Nice. That way, don't so have you guys to get back to the time. water and. Very good luck to you guys. Hope you guys can hold your breaths. Oh, do we not have? Have we used up all the potion? The potion of water breathing only lasts one hour. You guys have now been down here for two and a half. Well, no, but do, did we not have any left in there? Like we, we, we did only not. Drank half? Uh, yeah, we. we you you we, can't drink half. If you drink half a potion, you just get an entire potion because ha drinking half a potion does nothing. You have uh, to drink a whole potion for it to come into effect. Okay. Cool. So, other than Rainies, uh, I think you guys can hold your breath for at least like a couple minutes, right? Yeah, Probably. I think I'm like, I think I'm like five or something. It's one minute plus your Constitution modifier. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Three, We're good. four. four. Yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you guys are fine. If you got, if you can hold your breath for at least two minutes, you can make it out. <laughs> I'll uh, put uh, Yuila in a pocket space as I swim. I thought you said put her in your oh. pocket. I was like, that doesn't help me. <laughs> Shove him in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's well, what you do when you get the bag of holding. Oh, Stuff yeah. Yeah. What are we gonna do about Augustus? Pray he can hold his breath. I guess. No, so. he, put him in a tiny yeah, bottle. Do you have, do you have a? Um, do you have a, uh, a waterproof oil skin or something? Yeah, but Vera calls up another of his alchemical bottles. Has if it, it been has... washed? <laughs> it has healing potion, red residue still inside of it. Eh, it'll do. Alright, you can go in there. It's, if it's only a little while, it could, should be enough if we If we spend more than a couple minutes down here, then something went terribly wrong. Mm. Okay. I'll take a photo. <laughs> <Roy and Ishtar. laughs> Alright. So, <laughs> you guys make your way out. Time. You guys swim your way out. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more tricks on my sleeve. No hidden kraken around. Thing. No, Although see. that would be so hilarious considering it's like a CR23 creature. Mm. Let's see, why don't I believe you? Well, that's because you're clever. You're wise, <laughs> one might say. Never trust a GM. Never. Even when I say trust me, don't trust me. <laughs> Anyways, though, you guys make it out. And you... <sighs> resurface! You're catching your much-desired breaths as you guys are greeted once more by daylight. Go you. Oh, okay. I shudder to think what would have happened if we went at night. Oh. Uh, yeah. Don't. Just don't. Just get to the fucking coast. <laughs> Yes, I want my chest back. Mm. I feel like Varric's just so done with everyone here. I wonder why. <laughs> His eyes linger. <laughs> and doubly so upon Samuel. <laughs> I'm just going to give a little thumbs up. <laughs> In Samuel's direction. Shakes his head. <laughs> Okay, and start now I can change the music. Thank you, Mr. Wick, for stuff. There. Hey, 
So, you guys re uh, trudge back onto the beach, uh, <laughs> dripping wet with seawater. <sighs> Mission accomplished, I guess. Mm. No more invisible people. No more basilisks making stone people. No more stupid ass remarks. <laughs> Whatever do you mean, Mr. Bailwick? I swear to God. I pick Samuel up and throw him into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're spoiling it. Okay. Now, where did I dig down my chest? Hmm. Look for the big ol' X. Remember, I'm the one that identifies your stupid items. Yeah, some of which I don't even use. So they ain't my items. Uh, those are give me a curse thing. <laughs> yeah, like I'll trust you to give me items now. Now that you said that. Oh, I'll be sure to stop killing you too. I didn't say anything. I Children, say stop anything. fighting. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll all be grand in the morning. <laughs> Damn it, I should have said that. That's such a better line. Anyways. <laughs> Tam, you find not with an X, but just with memory, <laughs> where you bear chest and just <laughs> take it back up. Hmm. You know, we'll eventually have to go like farther and farther away. You're not gonna keep bringing that with you, are you? I have nowhere to store it. Store at the bank. <laughs> have a bank? Well, you but you don't. Then how, but then how will I use my tools? What are we talking about? You don't gotta take the, you don't gotta take the chest to keep the tools. Damn, never mind. <laughs> Let's go talk to Abby and fill it. All right. Let's go, chicken fill it. <laughs> he probably gets that shit all the time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <add> it. <laughs> yeah, they're terrible. Oh, is that what they put in the chili? <gasps> that would probably help, actually. It's a little Chicken bit. fillets. Well, possibly. I can chop it off. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're heavily distracted. Let's go talk to the people with the guns. Mm. You and I are the people with the guns. The other people with the guns. Fair enough. You guys go back and your card is still there. Uh, as is your uh, singular horse. You guys knock on the door and uh, you see it's but at this time, he opens the grid that, you know, little people and let you guys in. Welcome back. He looks you up and down, you guys are like, dripping. Um... Come in and warm yourselves up, I guess. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Actually, no, you guys have to 12, 2 and a half. Hour. Yeah, yeah, 3 o'clock. Something like that. Can I, like, set my jacket outside, like, on, a, on like, a clothesline if they have it to let it dry? They don't have a clothesline or a watch time. Yeah, I'm somewhere that I can set my jacket, though. <laughs> You can put it by the fire. Yeah, that works. I think on um, like a back of a I'm chair. I'm going to retire. I'm actually going to head out. Okay. Now that we're done with the action. Oh, the action okay. always begins when you guys get back into town. <laughs> actually, you have, have to peace out though. That's fine. Uh, okay. As, as a real life human being, you have to leave. Yes. Yes, I figured <laughs> okay. that. I saw the thing from earlier. Thank Peace you. Out. It was fun. Bye. Bye. Thanks for All playing. Right, bye. See you later. Finn. So, don't how was me. it? What was down there? A basilisk. Ooh. Go tell Abin that. He's up top. Actually, Abin! <laughs> what? <laughs> Guess what was under the headlands? I don't know, a fucking basilisk or something? How'd you know? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It was? Yeah, good guess. Oh shit. You guys killed it, yes? Mm. Would you like to see the eye? Oh, no. No, no. Not at all. No, no. Don't worry, Avin, they thoroughly put it to death. Oh, thank the gods. Why did it sound so much more posh than last time we were here? He, he's only a, he points out a pot of tea on the side. 
<laughs> Does the food you're eating and drinking determine your attitude? No. But the drink does put me in a good mood. Fair it harkens me back to my earlier days in my youth. That's all. How old does this guy look? Looks already. You're not that fucking old. He smiles at you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you the story some other time, though. Hmm. Uh, I think you guys have a to go back. As much as I enjoy you guys' company, uh, they chew us out if they heard we were keeping you longer than we needed to. Oh, but I want some of that chili, man. Well, I'm afraid I'm not going to be making that for a turn up top. Or at least, uh, he looks at his watch a few more hours. Have you ever considered making a watchtower cafe? <laughs> And how the people leave the warm comforts of Driftweaver's Bay? No. <laughs> I would come I just for the atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing, there's an inn in town. You should go check it out. Hmm. They call it the Wayfarer's Fork. Go check it out. Shit down. <laughs> go check it out. The owner is friends with everyone. Wonderful. So I guess it's a bit like Charlotte, except she's a co-worker of everyone. Wayfarer's... What was it called? Wayfarer's what? Fork. Fork. Oh, fork. Fork, fork, fork. What, well, you guys think I said fuck or something? No, I just couldn't remember what the <laughs> word was. Yeah, for some reason I wrote down town. There's an inn in town. I mean, it's an inn. An inn in town? I didn't know there was an inn in town. An inn in, 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 in town? How many times can you say inn in, in, in a sentence in. and have it make it mean something? <laughs> inn in town. So it's I like saying buffalo. <laughs> I went into the inn in town. In, in the inn in town. <laughs> Abin and I was friend the, me. I was in the inn in, in town. <laughs> Abin and Fillet make in and out in this game. Let's go. In and out doesn't serve Choi as much as I would wish. It'd probably be really bad, to be completely honest. You take that back. Nothing in and out makes is bad. As a severed cowboy. Yeah, that's I why they don't, don't make chili. Shit. That's. No. No, I think they do it right. Anyways, though. Kitty, 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 kitty. Uh. You guys want to head up then? That's yeah, I guess. Jim. Can we try off first? I mean, if you wish. Hmm. You can dry off on the way back. <sighs> it is a sunny day out. Yeah, just stick it, on the end of a, stick it on the end of a stick or something. The As he's saying that, Tanim is already stripping off his t his gambeson and his under like his tunic and. <laughs> you were so close to saying undergarments. It's like whoa, too much. <laughs> We're not talking full on Marshall just yet. <laughs> not Marshall of the Tidies, the nude gladiator, not yet. Moving on though. <laughs> you guys hop back on. You guys uh, sort of um, tie off, uh, like sort of like top the sleeves of your uh, sort of tire on the ends of the wag the top part of the wagon. Let him <sighs> dry in the breeze of the ocean. <laughs> ocean breeze, ocean man, ocean man. And you guys being heading out. Uh, who's sitting where? No reason. None at all. <laughs> I'm probably chilling at the back of the wagon, I suppose. Yeah, I can draw you a wagon as a wagon. Like a wagon. So we got a wagon. Uh, Wait, that's a thing. And then we got this, and then we got the uh, front seat. And then we got. I draw some. Uh, I can. I can't draw horses, so I will do instead a shitty horse. So it's like. <laughs> So they got two legs and then a body <laughs> and a long neck. And it's then, the most uh, beautiful horse you'll ever see. Look oh at it. The whole thing. A horse. I love it. There you go. Okay, yeah. we better put the horse out of its misery. Beautiful horse somewhere. Oh, go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> oh, no, let me get myself. That would be wise. I'm doing my best to take as good care of this jacket as I can. <laughs> Quit horsing around. Uh, uh, Varric takes the reins, I guess. Sure. Well, Varric takes the reins, then I'm gonna be down here. Three knees and I don't know where. By the way, I I know I know we didn't say it at the time, but did we take the journals from the 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 boo -boo -boo -boo, the place? I assume you did. Okay. And just wrapped it up in like some spare clothes so it didn't get soaking wet. Basically. Yeah. Hello, kitty. 
See I have my bow, else, arrow, no arrow, not. Alright, I'm back, sorry about that. Welcome back. <laughs> Alright, what did I miss? Um... You guys oh, just okay, hitched on, on the horse. Alright, I'm on the cart, cool. I'm making sure my gun still works. <laughs> I'll have my bow out. <laughs> I, I know this is not concerning thing to hear, truly, but uh, can I be roaming perception? That's probably fine, <laughs> don't worry about it. I, I, there's this nothing wrong with it, I swear. So I'm even rolling good on perception. What the fuck? Perception. There you go. Okay. Ah! No. Yes. Calm down. Is that the 20s roll? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Sorry, guys. Oh, that's... Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm breaking the track. Okay. It's unacceptable. Oh, All right. I was so... doing so well at the beginning, too. Yeah, and now you're on the downswing. You, were, you oh. went high, now you can only go down. Versus uh, Fred, who was low and can only go higher. <laughs> so everyone except Wise, essentially. I'm not going to roll for the people out here. Um, everyone except Wise, you guys see, as you guys are returning back to town, just following the trail, just sort of trotting along, sort of whimsically, uh, you see two people sprint out of the, the tree line to the forest to your guys' uh, east, eastern direction. I knock an arrow. <clears throat> do, they, do they seem... Uh, it appears like to be a. Uh, they appear incredibly disheveled. They have a couple, several cuts and things like that. They look very tarnish and dirtied. Uh, it's a teenage girl and her uh, child, younger brother. They're sprinting. I keep an eye on the forest line behind them. I'm just going to casually comment on the wind. Varric stops the horses as I stop the music. Indeed. Um, <laughs> so, they're sprinting at you. They're probably some 200 coming sprinting, so I guess that'd be. They'll be at 140 in this in about a moment. And you see, s chasing behind them, two creatures that you are relatively familiar with, their shape and form at this point. I'll bet you're usually used to them being made of stone. You see two scorn can. Oh. Similarly long, lean portions, four eyes, but these ones don't have claws on them. No. They do wield some form of weapon, though. Both of them. The same style. Uh, it's this sort of, uh... I guess, like, more... It's an axe with a stabby bit at the end. <laughs> Crudely made. Oh, and, it yeah, glows. Yeah. and it glows. And it glows. Are they within, uh, I think it's 300 <clears throat> feet, the longbows? Outer That's, range? How far are they? Is it the, ki the kids are about 140 from you. The scoring can chasing them are at 200. And how many scoring can are there? There are two. two. I'll start loading arrows. You know, as soon as I get within 120, I'm going to start throwing fire bolts. I got a minute. Let me, let me confirm the distance of the longbow. The longbow has 150 to 600 for its... Uh, 150 and 600 for its first and second uh, range intervals. So it means if you're shooting past 150 within 600, it's a disadvantage. And then anything past 600, you can't shoot at all. Okay. So if you want to take a hit at them, be my guest. Uh, disadvantage? <clears throat> at disadvantage. And that would do the same for Varric. I think it's also a disadvantage because the rifle does not go that far. Let's see, confirm stats. 